Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a brand new series. It's the summer DIY decor. There's going to be some coastal summer decor coming your way. And for today's, we have three high-end dollar store DIYs that are for summer farmhouse look. And I, the, for the very first one, I am using uh, some uh, tongue depressors or large popsicle sticks, a picture uh, from Dollar Tree, couple of devotive candle glass holders from Dollar Tree, as well as I will be using Mod Podge and some food coloring in blue because I will be creating uh, some what of a uh, frosted paint kind of glass, frosted glass paint. So I start off with removing the canvas and all the staples that are in this because I will be using the frame for this project. I also would like to mention that this DIY is part of Heidi Sombel's June Summer DIY Challenge. Um, she hosts these every other month. Uh, and I love participating in them. So make sure you check out Heidi's channel as well as the playlist, which will be linked down below. So once I have removed the canvas, I am now moving on to adding the popsicle sticks because I needed a base for this frame. And I'm just cutting the popsicles to size um, using an X-Acto knife. I'm sure there is a better way to cut. I did end up poking myself with it, <laughs> but um, this is what I am working with. So I cut, um, I think it took me like six of them or so, or maybe it was eight. And then once I had them all cut to size, I proceeded to hot gluing them to the bottom. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all of my bee and lemon decor that I just finished off with a mega video uh, that I posted last Sunday. Uh, so if you enjoy lemon decor for the summer as much as I do, make sure you head on over and check that video out. I will have it linked at the end of the video. Now that I have uh, completed the bottom, I move on to painting it in this coastal blue acrylic paint. Uh, it's actually not acrylic paint, it is chalk paint, sorry about that. It is from dollar, my dollar store and more store, um, and I love this color. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a duck egg blue from Annie Sloan. And I'm just um, painting the frame on the outside and then the top. So I don't know if you can actually see, but I am creating a bit of a small coastal tray that will hold some of those votive uh, candle holders that I will be painting shortly. So to create my frosted glass paint, I am adding some of this Wilton uh, bright blue color, um, just a little bit on the end of a toothpick. Uh, and, and I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so of a Mod Podge. And I'm using the matte Mod Podge. And then you want to mix that up until you achieve the color that you're going for. I was going for that bright blue color. Once my paint was ready, I took a sponge brush and painted all, all of my uh, votive candle holders uh, in two coats. Once these had a chance to dry, you can see they turned out 
perfect. I couldn't be more pleased. Actually, my friend Sandra from the Schwann's Nest told me about this technique, so I researched it and thought I used it instead of going out and buying some of the frosted glass spray paint. Then I proceeded to wrapping it up with some jute rope. Um, I just did about three rows of it. I think this tray turned out so cute and I can't wait to use it in decorating my bathroom. For project number two, I'm using a frame that I got at Dollarama. This was a set of two for $3. And I'm going to paint the inside of it with some black acrylic paint. I was debating about using chalk paint, but uh, the frame has, the inside has a lot of texture. And I wanted that texture to show through. And I thought if I use the black um chalk paint it would not work I am leaving the frame the way uh, the way it is and then I tie, uh, printed out well cut out my vinyl over with my Cricut maker and I will include the free SVG that I'm using for this in a description box I got it um, I found it on Pinterest so I will be sharing it for you if you want to recreate this project so I will be transferring it over to my frame once it had completely dried and I did two coats of black acrylic paint inside the frame. I must say I am getting a hang of this uh, transferring of vinyl from the, the pro, um, cutting mat onto the project. I would also like to say that if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you considered subscribing and becoming part of my YouTube family. I do these type of DIYs along with some furniture makeover and trash to treasure um, upcycles um, three times a week. So make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. <music> And if you want to see how I use all of these DIYs in my decor, make sure you head on over to my home channel where I share all of these DIYs in my home decor while I decorate and clean my home. I love how simple this DIY was to make and how perfect it looks to sit nicely on your front porch or your back patio. My project number three, I have to say, was the most involved and I think my favorite one. I will be making a lantern. I love decorating with lanterns. And for this lantern, I'm using these two circles that I got a um, package of them at Dollarama. This candle, um, the hurricane vase or candle came from Dollar Tree. And then I'm using some of those garden sticks as well as some nautical rope. So I'm tracing the vase uh, around because I want to cut the middle out and I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut it out. So once I cut it out, I pop it out and then I take some sandpaper that's just from Dollar Tree and smooth the inside out. So just all those little loose pieces of wood don't get um, caught up in my fingers. And when that's done, I just slide it over top of the opening of the vase and then I glue the bottom of the vase to the other circle by making sure that I have the distance right. I mark it off just so I know exactly where to put it. And once that's in place, I take these sticks, measure where I want to cut them, and then I cut all of them. I am using eight of these 
to for for this project and again i'm using just my cutters to cut the the wood off it's pretty much cutting the tip off is what i'm doing and then i take these sticks and i hot glue them first i go in um three six nine and twelve and then i go in between each of those sections Once I had it exactly the way I wanted, um, these sticks were spaced out perfectly. I love the way this looks. Originally, I was going to keep it this way, but then I decided that adding a little bit of that coastal gray would fit perfectly for this summer DIY projects that I'm making. Um, you could also stain your wood, but I would advise you if you do so to do that before you assemble the pieces just so they look um all the same i did a very light coat and some of the wood grain on these sticks actually did show through which i thought was pretty cool and then i add this nautical rope but um i wrap some wire around it it is just some gardening wire type of thing that i'm wrapping around it it was very easy to to use um i just wanted to give it that silver um, or that metal look at the end. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Once I wrapped it all around, I just hot glue the rope to make sure you do it to the uh, the even sticks so they are opposite of each other so i absolutely love the way this turned out i think it's gonna look great with the tall hurricane candle well i hope you enjoyed these diys make sure you sure check out heidi's channel as well as the playlist which will be linked down in the description box and don't forget to press that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.